today we're going to be switching our stadia controller from wireless to bluetooth as you can see here i'm already on the website and the website is stadia.com slash controller and it will take you to this website so you can see right here that i have on uh, my laptop it says here play wirelessly with bluetooth uh, switch your stadia controller to bluetooth mode to keep gaming wirelessly on your favorite devices and services after stadia shuts down and then we have a big orange button that says switch to bluetooth mode switching to bluetooth mode downloads a software update system requirements chrome uh, version 108 or newer and then if we scroll down we can see an image of the stadia controller and then it says important things to know so it says switching is permanent once you switch your controller to bluetooth mode you cannot switch it back to use wi-fi on stadia you can still pair you can still play wire with usb in bluetooth mode and then it says uh available until december 31st 2024 okay so basically you have until that time to switch your con stadia controller to bluetooth mode so you can continue using it with other devices uh, because Stadia basically is no more. Uh, as you can see here, I have my Stadia controller connected to my laptop through USB-C. Okay, so now we're gonna follow the procedure to switch it to uh, Bluetooth mode. So here we're gonna tap where it says switch to Bluetooth mode. Okay, and now here it says, uh, what would you like to do with your uh, Stadia controller? You will need a USB data cable for this action. The cable that came with your controller will work so as you can see i already have it connected so now we're gonna uh, press where it says switch to bluetooth mode okay so we're gonna select start and then it says here first plug your stadia controller into your computer make sure your controller has been charged for 30 minutes and you are using a usb data cable okay so we're gonna press continue since i already have it connected okay now it says here allow chrome to verify your controller this opens a device list by your url bar select your controller in this list then click connect okay so we're going to tap where it says allow chrome to verify okay now we're going to get this window and as you can see here it says stadia controller pair so we're going to click there and now we're going to click where it says connect okay so now it says chrome verify your stadia controller go to the next step to unlock controller Okay, so we're gonna press where it says next step. Okay, so now it says unlock your Stadia controller. Your controller needs to be unlocked to download updates. Follow these instructions to unlock your controller. It says unplug your controller to power it off. Hold the basically three dots button while plugging in your controller. And then you have to press the three dots the let's say google command button the a plus y at the same time okay let's see what else we have before we can continue okay and then we're going to do the next step so this is how we're going to uh, based on this unlock the stadia controller okay so first we need to unplug it so um i'm going to come back as soon as i do those steps okay Okay guys, so as you can see here, I'm using one hand and this is how I'm pressing all the buttons that need to be pressed on the controller. And now I'm gonna plug it in back with the USB Type-C. But uh, since I'm holding the camera with the other hand, I will have to let go of the camera and uh, plug the controller, so I will be back. Okay, so now I have plugged the controller, as you can see there, by holding all the buttons. And now I got this pop-up saying allow accessory to connect. So we're going to press where it says allow. Okay, as you can see there. Okay, so now we have to press uh, the next step. Okay, so now it's telling us uh, download Bluetooth uh, mode update. Select your controller in the Chrome device list again. Then click connect. This checks allows your controller is unlocked. Then start downloading uh, to the controller. So we're going to add click where it says allow Chrome to download. Okay, so then this window is gonna pop up. We're gonna select the controller where it says SP blank RT family. And we're gonna hit where it says connect. Okay, and now it's gonna be downloading. As you can see here, everything is green. So now we're gonna tap where it says 
next step and we're going to do the same process again so now as you can see here it says usb composite device uh, and now we're going to tap where it says uh, connect okay and as you can see here it says install bluetooth mode one more time select your controller okay so we already did all the steps so now we have to wait for it to finish uh, install okay so it's installing bluetooth mode update do not unplug your controller so now let's wait for this to finish so it has been installed the latest bluetooth mode update is installed game on your controller is in bluetooth mode and you can pair to bluetooth devices you can now unplug your controller okay and then it's giving us some tips it says the first time you turn on the controller it should enter pairing mode the status light should flash orange to enter a pairing mode manually, press the Y plus Stadia uh, button for two seconds. Once paired, the controller auto connect for the last pair of devices when turned on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and unplug it. Okay, guys, so this is how basically we turn the Stadia controller uh, into Bluetooth mode. So that's basically gonna be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel so you can get more content. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.